but they don't belong in the newsroom. This just in, scientists discovered that Canadian bacon is actually ordinary ham. This made a lot of people very angry and has been widely regarded as a bad news. Miserable bloody Romans, no sense of humor. Look with what Dr. Ashland just said, do you, do you concur? Don't talk to it, Mary. Don't encourage it. We're just like Kevin Bacon. The only thing that will redeem mankind is cooperation. I think we can all appreciate the relevance of that now. Welcome back to The Hollywood Thumb, a short-form movie news podcast brought to you by It's Just Two Movies, the which is like a parent podcast. If you like this, you, you probably you might get into that. You never know. Uh, my name is Daniel King in the studio with me this evening. Jackson. Jackson, welcome. Let's do the news. Uh, so a little sneak peek of Werewolf by Night featuring the ever-elusive Man-Thing, who's he's kind of like a swamp thing, but different. He's a man. What do you think about his long, mossy trunk, Jackson? Do hmm? you love it? Huh? <laughs> his, his long, mossy trunk? Hmm? The trunk? Yeah, he's got like a, like a weird facial appendage. Oh, um, I didn't see that part. Well, it's pretty good. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Amazon greenlit a Blade Runner 2099 series with Ridley Scott at the helm. Do uh, you catch that one? Blade Runner 2099? Not 2099. Uh, just I, the OG? Well, no, no. There's the 2045 that just came out a couple of years ago. I think that one is the Is this the 20, sequel to that? I think 2099 is the one that just came out. Oh, I haven't seen 2099. Oh, it's good. But yeah, they're they're going to make a series. Let Ridley Scott uh, be oh. the executive producer. What do you think about that? That's pretty interesting. I like Ridley Scott. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, like his stuff too. Have you seen Black Lotus? Like Black Lotus. It's on Adult Swim. It's like part of the Blade Runner era. No, she, no I have pretty. It's pretty. Is good. it animated? It's animated, but it is. I mean, it's, it's good. Looks cool. It's very good. Like cell shady kind of. It's dark. It's kind of rainy. Oh, yeah. Just the Blade Runner vibe. Yeah, I yeah. got it. I have to look into that. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be something down the pipe that we're going to be getting. Uh, Brie Larson said she's not sure if she will ever be returning that's okay. as Captain Marvel. I think everybody's okay with that. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> Like, love her or hate her. Uh, she, she's good casting for she the part. She good casting. She just says some she stuff is, that's inflammatory she just went, goes to a little some people. Over the top. I'm like, I don't care. Right. I don't watch. I don't watch uh, like interviews with actors. I just generally don't watch them. Just watch the movie. Yeah, I'll watch a highlight of a funny one. When somebody was being funny, I'll watch that. Right. But uh, I don't really have any interest in watching the interviews themselves. Bit disappointing that she just got uh, slammed by the internet and now is like, I don't know if I'll ever come back to do that. Well, yeah, that's a bummer if she's like stepping away because of that. It's like, don't let other people's opinion change your trajectory. Yeah, yeah. She's got the the Carol Danvers look for sure. Yeah, so I don't don't know what, uh, what the future of that may entail. I mean, probably more commercials. Like, doesn't she do like a Cadillac? Oh, yeah. She's doing, fuck she's doing fucking Honda days or Honda. Some, <laughs> something. I don't, I don't know what she's up to. The Yoda. Yeah. Butch and Sundance uh, series finally finds stars in Reggie. Uh, see here. I think that's Reggie Jean Page and Glenn Powell. So some casting for uh, Butch and Sundance, the upcoming series by... I think Paramount. I'm not real sure. I forgot to write it down. Dude, they've been pumping out a lot of things. Paramount. Paramount? Yeah. yeah I haven't was, uh, been able to watch a lot of it because I don't have it. But is I'm Yellowstone like, one of the popular yeah, that, that that's on? Which, a lot of people like that. My sister keeps telling me, like, you got to watch that. I haven't like, seen it yet. I haven't seen it. I ain't got the channel. And then there's a, like a apparently a prequel maybe or a sequel to mm. it. It's like that they already started on like 19. Le- less Yellowy Stone? No, it's like called like 1900 or something. Okay. I'm probably dead wrong on that, but <laughs> Yeah, all right. Well, that's fine. You can be you can be dead wrong and be a news journalist. Uh <laughs> I am not. <laughs> Disney, here we, here we go. Here's some Star Wars stuff, Jackson. Right, I'm excited right. cuz I know you're a Star Wars guy. Uh not like super fan or anything. I mean, I, I do you, like Star Wars. You like using fucking Star Wars. Why not? So, Disney quietly removes the Star Wars Rogue Squadron series from the release schedule entirely. Rogue like the Rogue movie was probably one of the might be the best new movie out of the Star Wars. Is that right? I it's great. Is it got cool space shit? The space shit's my favorite. It's a, no, it's not as it's not as like spacey as the other movies. Mm. It's more isolated in place where where the where the battles take place. Mm. Um, 
but it it's a good story overall and then just i don't know like it's it's uh it's a part of like okay uh the rebels against you know uh the empire so were, were you were you looking forward to no. what you're explaining to me what rogue squadron is because yeah. i don't know i was gonna like yeah. ask you to elaborate yeah so it, it is basically the, like during like after episode four like so during that time frame they are uh they're like all right what's going on on these other like planets and whatnot in this mm -hmm. certain i think i can't remember the entire story but this certain planet or something had a rebel base on it and uh the rebel base fought back and it's like how does that happen how do you fight the empire so that's how they like kind of told their, that story right and it ended really cool that sounds pretty interesting so this was going to be a whole series of that i'm thinking yeah or before or after. i could be dead wrong <laughs> again <Yeah>. who knows <laughs> <laughs> who knows that's i love it it's i tell you what though you you've convinced me whether it's true or not no I, that movie is legit like as a standalone movie rogue i forgot what rogue one oh uh, this is called rogue squadron no but rogue one was the movie i think i mean i'm unsure if we're ever gonna get that i suppose it's, that's a shame i want to segue into biopics but i just i want to like how, how are you feeling about biopics like you up for some more of them that's a biopic just about like a biography movie oh about somebody yeah yeah I'm good with those. Yeah, like catch me if you can. That is like based on a person. Based, yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch me if you can might have been a little more fictional, a little more exaggerated. Yeah, maybe for the sake of storytelling. But Whitney <laughs> Whitney Houston is getting a biopic called "I Want to Dance with Somebody." We think of that Jackson. She made a song about that. Yeah. Ooh. I, I want like to dance with somebody. That honestly is one of the like more. Like, I really like. I really like to feel the heat with somebody if I could. That 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 song kind of gets you in the moment. It's like, all right, let's go. Let's oh, let's, yeah. let's oh, actually yeah. dance. Yeah, that's prime. That's this prime. Like, Whitney. It's like middle of the wedding reception music. Like, oh, this one, this jam's on. Yeah, no, it's a good one. It's a, it's a good Whitney Houston song, or or, or Wit Dog, as I call her. Wit Dog. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I I don't know. Guess I'll watch that. Probably pretty interesting. I don't I have no idea what yeah, else yeah, happened outside of. Outside of like that song, I think I, she had. <laughs> oh, uh, did she have a drug problem. I think she had a drug problem. Was it, who's the uh, Ike in St. Louis? Ike Turner. Ike Turner. Yeah. Like, wasn't he and her together? Oh, that's a really good question. Uh, like, I think there's an issue there. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T uh, wait. Or is that Tina Turner? That's Tina Turner. Uh, that's okay. Tina and Ike Turner. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. I don't know uh, Whitney Houston. I don't, I don't know much about it. I think for Whitney, it. it was probably cocaine. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I mean, that's that's gonna happen. I'm sure that'll be um, wild. I guess. In other news, Jeff Loveness is slated to write for the next Avengers movie, Avengers: The Kang Dynasty. So is this like a new part of the Marvel universe? Correct. Interesting. I wonder, I wonder where they will go with that. I I I am honestly not sure. Uh, I thought I kind of had an idea what was maybe going to happen, but I don't want to do any fan casting. But uh, Jeff Loveness, he, he's mostly cited for his work on Jimmy Kimmel and Rick and Morty. So nice. I think that like maybe a more cerebral brand of humor hopefully pays. Uh, yeah, yeah, pays dividends. Pays off as I, I think a lot of people are getting tired of the the quippy. The, like the nonstop quippy stuff, right? Like it doesn't really bother me. I kind of like it because comic books are quippy. Yeah, you know what I mean. They they, comic they, they book characters need to be, but or not need to be, but you can expand on them so much more. I think. Yeah, yeah, especially just the source material. Excuse me, the source material. But I think they are more quippy for screen. Um, yeah, but I mean that's a that's a, that's a, hopefully a really good writer cast. I mean, I have no idea. I mean, if he's part of Rick and Morty, like, what part of Rick and Morty is he? Like, how long was, was he there? Um, it's like, just, I mean, that's, I mean, it's a good thing in your resume, right? But I don't, yeah. I don't know anything else. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, I don't tell uh, you. Yeah. What else? What else you got? I mean, you wrote for Jimmy Kimmel. I don't know. If, <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm not. A, I'm <laughs> it's like actually okay. not a fan of Jimmy Kimmel. I don't. Yeah, he's in, he's kind of a. Uh, corporate person so season two of the halo series started filming jackson i know i'm very disappointed in I know, myself i know that that's your 
favorite game? So I have a buddy, uh, Cole, that he is a nerd on the like campaign side of mm-hmm. things. Like I always play Halo for the multiplayer. He plays it for the campaign and the story. And I'm like, what's up? What's up, dude? It's like, I don't know. But uh, like he's like he's he's caught up to date on all that. And I'm like, man, I should have like just watched. I don't have Paramount. Fucking mm-hmm. Paramount. See, I was talking to a guy the other day. I was like, hey, everybody has this, their own streaming service. What if we get this new idea, quote unquote, and just bundle them all together <laughs> right. and call it cable. <laughs> right. It's like, because we all want to watch this and this. We don't want to pay for it. Mm-hmm. Let's just bundle them together. <laughs> I personally don't get into a lot of series. I've, I've been trying to. Like, you know, I've been trying to watch more serialized stuff. I just don't know how. I would rather just binge it in like two nights. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I think that's the way Netflix has kind of taught our brains to work. I guess right. so. It, well, back to this Halo thing. Yeah, though. I kind of. Oh, so I'm behind. I haven't even watched one episode, which I'm, I'm disappointed in because I'm like, it looked awesome. Yeah, it's it visually speaking, it, it's like they finally made a Halo thing that was great outside of the game. Right, and I hear they have Master Chief take his hel- helmet off. Oh, I don't know. See, I haven't. I don't what know. A, what a bummer. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, leave his helmet on. Yeah, just wanted. I don't want to know what like. I want the mystery. Yeah, just leave the mystery there. He's maybe he's, old, maybe he's fucking blood he, and guts in there. He's three three seven. Or whatever the fuck his, his number is. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, I mean, so th- the fact that that started filming, I. So to me, this is like the most mind blowing news of the week, because the reviews for this were, were generally not very welcoming, and it was. Uh, I guess when you have that large of a fan base going into there's it, a, you, there's you a really hype to it, right? you really need to stick to the the lore, or do what the, kind of what the fan like. What do the fans want? Like, yeah. You're not making the first one; you're making the newest one. Halo's already been in all all these other forms and formats. Yeah, and they've tried, mm-hmm. and, and they've been good. The animated series wasn't they've, terrible. Yeah, they've been good shows. It's yeah. just like. But it didn't live up. There's so much hype behind the multiplayer part of the game. Like, there's a disconnect between the story people that love the story and the people that love the game for the game. So it's like there's yeah. a hype behind it. And it's it's like, ah, oh, it's not what I expected. And it's like, yeah. what did you expect? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I had – I put a poll on the gram and I had some, peop- that, some people that were like, actually, it's, it's good. Nice. And I was like, all right, man. I'll – one or two is enough to sway me to try it out. You know what I mean? D- don't take much. Yeah, nice. But uh, yeah, I think I might. I think I might try to dip in on it. I don't know if we have Paramount though, so see, I might not. If see, my problem's there. Paramount. I don't. I don't need another. We need, we need this cable idea, Dan. I don't need another one. <laughs> Write me your <laughs> Paramount login. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> don't do that. That's illegal. No, it's uh, not. It's not. It might be. Who knows? I, yeah, whatever. I, just, I mean, are there rules anymore? I just don't. <laughs> are there? <laughs> Oh, man. Evidently so, because we're getting a season two of Halo. So uh, the, the maybe being Microsoft doing this thing. Sorry, I'm going to stick on this for a minute. I actually have stuff to say about this. What? So maybe being Microsoft, the show that was not received well, uh, like a lot of the things that the the people that didn't like about it, a lot of those things were it like wasn't true or accurate or any of the interesting parts of the lore of the thing that they love. Right. So... What has Microsoft on television put any? Have they put anything out? Like, am I behind on it? Like, as are oh they? God, as, I'm sure. Okay, I'm sure Microsoft surely owns one entertainment. Microsoft owns Blizzard, don't they? Or is Blizzard its no, own entity? Activision owns Blizzard. Oh yeah, that's right. Wait, is that right? Fuck, I don't know. It I don't is. know anything about video game well, companies. That actually, own each other, the company just is as a disclaimer. The company is Tencent. It's out of China. Ah, gotcha. Well, that's that's good that you know that. Well, I mean, that's kind of what I do. <laughs> that's true. That is true. I, f- I feel like with with him doing a second season of this, like people that didn't go in on the first season are probably not going to just objectively try out try season out. two. I just want to be caught up on the first. Like I would genuinely like genuinely watch this entire series. So maybe some people will wait for that mm-hmm. and do that. I don't know. 
Yeah. But I haven't heard a whole lot of talk about the first step or first season, so I uh, yeah, I, I Which is weird because I play Halo online and I don't hear anybody like on the multiplayer oh, man, like did you check hey. out the just check out the <laughs> movie was fucking sick, bro. None of that, huh? Yeah, I haven't heard any of that on the mics, huh. you know. All right. Kind of, kind of quiet. All right, quiet on the mics. Quiet on the mics. It's like you guys check out that episode last night. How about- no, dude, why why don't you get off <laughs> fucking Halo? <laughs> Uh, more Star Wars news. How about that? All right. Uh, you fucking <laughs> like that shit? So, new series, The Acolyte, casts Wan Ye, the leader, the leading man from Squid Game. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The series, uh, also, also got Manny Jacinto from The Good Place. You ever seen The Good Place? I haven't. It's oh. a, is that a movie or a series? It's a, it's a series. I, okay, that's what I thought. It's a comedy series. He's very funny in it, though, Manny Jacinto. So, yeah, so the same guy, the main character off of uh, Squid Games is yeah. in The Good Place? No. No, he's going to be uh, in the new fucking Star Wars thing, The Acolyte. Oh, what's that called? Or what's that mean? Like, what's what's going on uh, there? Okay, glad you asked because I took the time to write this down because I knew you would. <laughs> the series promises to depicts an era where it is peak High Republic. Okay. Thoughts on that? Hold I on, think it's like, me, I think I saw it's like a century before the events of episode one. Oh, interesting. Yeah. See, I don't want to like speak out of turn on it because I don't know enough about like that. Lore. You know enough to be on a podcast that calls itself news. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> no, you're just, you're just Jackson. You say whatever you want, bro. Um, I don't know. It's uh, a century before. I feel like there's a lot of Sith lore there, too, that you could go back to. How do you feel about how do you feel about those people? Uh, Wan Ye and Manny Jacinto. Who's the Manny guy? He's a uh, fuck. Hold on, let me pull up the. I mean, I I don't know what you, that what the Wan Ye guy would play, so I'm kind of curious. He's a Canadian actor. Oh, okay, nice. Yep, that guy. So him and uh, the Squid Game, Squid Game guy. Yeah, I mean, think about that. You think they can get Star Warsy? Can they can they do a Force? I mean, depends on what they're doing. Like, like are they? I feel like they could do it. Fair, fair enough. I'm trying to picture them in a, in a situation in Star Wars. I'm just like, uh, how would that fit? But I feel like they could do it. Just don't know how. Hmm. Well, uh, Sony has also announced that the Craven the Hunter movie will now release October 6th, 2023 instead of January 13th. Uh, let's see here. As well as an untitled Sony movie. Shifting from June seventh to June twelfth, twenty twenty four. June seventh to July twelfth, excuse me, twenty twenty four. So the Craven the Hunter movie getting pushed back and another unnamed project. Were you ex- were you uh, hyped for that or? Eh, whatever. Yeah. I like. I don't know. Never really cared about Craven. He's just gonna wear that big cat. Yeah. He's gonna wear that big cat vest. Yeah, I haven't been. Yeah. Or maybe kind of, he won't. Maybe I'm, he'll I'm, be like, I love animals actually now. I'm craving the hunter. <laughs> I mean, I've kind of been the same, like, eh, it's like, eh, I know it's going to come out, whatever. Like, okay, there probably are some side villain stories out there that right. I'd be into, but that's just not one of them. I mean, I'll still watch it or whatever, but I wouldn't say I'm excited. I, I would say I am, uh, un, I don't care. <laughs> that's it. That's all I have to say about it. Ambiguous. Or you, uh, so I think that's going to be it. That looks like time for us. Uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for listening. Thank you for telling your friend. Thank you for a like or a follow and a lovely comment goes a long way. Yeah. Be positive people. Yeah. I have been Daniel King Jackson and that's been the news. Good evening. That's just grossly inappropriate. Come on, Ed, it's bull crap. A saucy line will not get you far with me. He's not the Bethesda! He's a very naughty boy! Stop being such a dick! No, no, it, it, it's not schizophrenia. It's just a voice in my head. Your love of the halfling's leap has clearly slowed your mind. Good speech. Nice and short. Leaves more time for drinking! <laughs> Break out the ale! These men are thirsty! Yeah! The Hollywood of Thumb is brought to you by It's Just Two Movies and is a production of Blue Cheese and Bacon Studios. Both can be found wherever you get your podcasts.